Hello friends, for this next installment of the Non-Programmers Emacs series, I'm looking at how to take a PDF file, which you might be studying for class or academically, and convert that to an org mode document, which you can then use to edit, mark up, read, and so on. And if you need to, then export to another file format, such as Microsoft Word or another PDF. So this is pretty simple. It uses heavily the PDF to tool, uh, PDF to text program, which is a part of the, the Poplar Tools uh, PDF management open source and cross-platform library. It's an excellent program. And then we'll go from exporting with that to our org mode. So where we have where we are right now, you can see that I have a PDF file already downloaded and ready to look at. And I've already installed PDF to Tools. I'm on Linux, so it's very simple, but you can get it whatever system you're on. To give you an idea of what this PDF file looks like, I'll open it in my default viewer. Okay, you can see what we have here. We have pictures, we have headings and sections, page numbers, multiple columns, and tables, and so on. So pretty rich content. We're going to actually be getting rid of most of that, which is, is for the tasks I'm in right now, something desirable. I don't want the pictures and the tables, just the text. If you want pictures and tables, look into PDF to HTML, which extracts a lot of those in useful ways. But for today, I'm just showing you PDF to text. Now, what I'm going to do is the quick and simple way. I'm going to say PDF to text. Take that PDF, grab the output, pipe that to an org mode file. You can see now we have the org mode file. Let's open that. All right, just plain text, nothing to see here really. And we want now to be able to start marking that up. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the top right there. Looks like we have a title. There we go, and we have some authors. What I'm doing here is adding the tags that org mode looks at when it exports to make a, a nicely formatted title and author section. I don't care about those uh, descriptors. And now the next part of the process that for my task is important is to add heading levels. So what I've done here is created a first level heading for summary. And we'll create one for introduction and so on. You can imagine doing this throughout the document. All right. Another thing to know about org mode exports is that it only considers a, a broken line for the export purposes as something separated by an empty line. So I'm going to separate these by empty lines to make sure they show up right. And you can imagine doing this throughout the document. Now once you have it formatted here, we're just about ready to go. I'll show you now. We export. We have a lot of export options. Some of these I've added with code that I have on my blog. With the link in the video description here. But in particular, we're going to now go to ODT and open so we can get LibreOffice to open this up. Now we're going to have problems right here, okay? This is because when PDF to text exports, sometimes it includes a type of space character that LibreOffice can't handle. So actually we can find this pretty easily if you know what to look for. Is this one right here, this space character. And the easiest way to just fix this now is we're going to do a replace string we're going to say replace that character with nothing. We've deleted 17 of them. And we'll save that and try again. OK, there we go. You can see the header here for summary, the nicely formatted title and author sections. There are our, there's our list and introduction. Now, maybe we don't want the numbers. so. Summary is being section one, introduction to section two. If we want to get rid of those, we can add one of many options to customize our output. All right, and I also noticed that our list here, our numbered list isn't working right. So what we're going to do is change the line width we go. And make sure that each of these is a single line. And that looks 
looks like a good section of its own, maybe a subsection. Let's see how this looks now. Oh, here we go. Accidentally did an HTML export, but that shows you just another of the options you have here. What we want to do is that ODT export again. Okay, there we go. Now our list is properly numbered. Now we don't have numbers on our sections. And you can imagine how easy this is to do for the whole document. And with that, I'll go back to the folder. You can see what we have here. We have the PDF file we started with. This is going to be better here. We have our HTML file I accidentally exported to. The open document file that could easily go to a Word file. And the org file that we were editing. So there you go. Easy as that. We have exporting and conversion from PDF to org mode to whatever format you need. Hope this serves you well. Once again, I recommend you take a look at the blog post accompanying this for a full detail of the commands used and customizations that are available to you. And hope this serves you well.